All right, MSD, you're the Reef. Welcome back to Bum Sim. I've done a lot since the last time I recorded this game. When I recorded episode number two, which at the time of this recording hasn't even dropped yet. I said I was going to do a lot of this stuff offline. Yeah, I did that. I'm going to turn around now, and you're going to see exactly what I have been doing. So I might have gotten a little bit carried away. I wouldn't say carried away, because none of it was progressing story or anything like that. It was just collecting materials and being boring and sitting here in silence, setting things up the way that I wanted them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. So this is my bum. I need you to not look at me like that. Uh, but no, I can send him on missions and quests. I don't really want to, because all I think he does is gather like things for me, but I could also have him get... You know what? Yeah, take a pack of cigarettes. Now we are gonna go take out these cameras because the base is exactly what it needs to be. It's upgraded, I have the ability to make a bunch of different things. I upgraded my pigeons. So now we're on our way to take out these cameras. So I'll see you there. All right, cameras, prepare to die. One down, nine more to go. Is that one way in the distance down there, I think? Yes. <laughs> Why was that one on a trash can? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I, I f didn't realize they were on my map still. That's weird. Why wouldn't they be on the same building? I see you from downtown. Oh, from downtown. Halfway there. Keep it up, pal. Nice work. Oh my God. I would not have. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? What a weird place to put those. Wait, there's one right here. Oh, hey man, I wouldn't have seen you either. Pow. And you, oops. And you, and you, oh, and you. Last camera down. I repeat, last camera down. Time to move in. Okay, moving in. Doc didn't lie. This is the place. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Should I be sneaking? Shut up, man. You're going to give us away. I remember that machine which messed us up was standing right here. However, it seems we're too late. They left and took most of the stuff with them. Mm. Let's look around. Maybe we can find some clues as to their new whereabouts. Look, Carl, it's you. Hey, this is me. I mean, it's the same shopping cart. The one I'm currently uh, possessing. <laughs> possessing. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. Um. What the fuck is this? Were they holding people here? It looks seems like, like a sci-fi movie from the 80s. Sure. Um, oh, find clues, so I am on the right path. What the F? Animal testing? They sure live up to the evil way name. You're damn right they do. Um... Oh. Can I not... I, okay, I thought I was being smart, but I guess not. Oh. to make a hybrid with non-organic matter resulted in the death of the subject remains dumped to the streets in accordance with the new evil way cost saving policy hey i think that's about me so you're dead uh oh, that's probably not good, man. You're probably not gonna be able to get your body back. Oh, another clipboard. God, I hate reading. Um, one capsule dehibernated during the weekend due to equipment failure after switching to cheaper parts in accordance with the new Evil Way. 
cost-saving policy. Other capsules opened manually. Work suspended until test subjects are retrieved. Retrieved. Okay, there's one more clue somewhere. Oh, here it is. Hobo sign. I haven't seen or used those in years. It says <laughs> this is a good place to camp at night. Yeah, right. Aren't you? Okay. It seems that Evil Way was experimenting on more people than just us. However, uh -huh. the experiments escaped, and Evil Way went hunting for them. If they're still out there, then maybe they can help us out. We are fellow experiments, after all. Also, uh -huh. this is the only lead we have right now, so we have to follow it. Let's see. One got free by accident and let the others out. It probably took some time before they defrosted, though. He didn't want to wait. It was too dangerous, so he escaped. However, he left a message on the wall for others to camp here at night. It probably means that we should come here at night. But why? 10 p.m. and 2 a.m.? Am I not? Is that not now? What time is it? Oh, it's 9.40 in the morning? Oh, Jesus. All right, but anyway, I'm going to go back to the base and see if I can just pass the time. And if not, I'll just come back and I'll just come back whenever it's time, basically. All right, I was able to sleep for a little bit of time, so I figure I'll just give you a little tour of the base. Uh, see what you want and I'll be on my way. Thanks, man. <laughs> they, they, they sleep like that, and it is... When I first placed this thing down, it was the funniest thing I had ever seen. Yes, no problem, man. All right, but anyway, I can only sleep for a certain amount of time. So I'm, I got to 4.30 now, so I'm just going to give you a little tour of everything that I've done to this point, and then I'll just piss time away until it's time to go back to that place. So we still have the workbench and the fence. That's not new. We still have this. That's not new. Neither is this, but I moved the recycling over here now, and then this is how I get copper as well. So now I can make aluminum and copper at the same time. And then I decided to build myself a little hovel, if you will. So step on inside. It's like MTV Cribs for bumps. This is where I can make like recipes. I guess these give me like little buffs. Um, I don't really have enough to make anything at the moment, I don't think, but I will keep an eye on it. Obviously I made myself a nice bed. We have two different types of pigeons now. This is where I'm storing all my food and cigarettes, which is what you pay to those guys out there to go and do stuff for you. Uh, this is basically a pot where you can just like, you can cook the uh, little fruits and vegetables that you get. And I think this is an upgraded bottle singer, maybe? Maybe not, I'm not sure. I know I know I upgraded something, but then this is also a planter and that's pretty much as far as I got. This took me a while to do of like off camera farming of materials, like just sitting here putting stuff into the recycler and then waiting for it to recycle like this this is literally all i did for about three hours but this just is all my materials cardboard wood scrap ceramic copper and um aluminum whenever i make it so basically to make aluminum i just have to take all these out slap them in here and then just wait for it to be done. And then I have a bunch of seeds in here. I wanna start planting things. I feel like I can really make a nice little farm. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do. Uh, the guano will actually make things grow faster. That's literally all it does. So um, I might just make a couple aluminum, aluminum sheets and make this big planter. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty cool. So I might just do this to pass the time until it's time to go to the other place. Uh, so I'll see you when I see you. I don't know when. All right, 10 p.m. So it's time to go back to the sea. Uh, I built that little. I built the medium flower pot. I don't think I have any seeds to put in it just yet. When I come back after this mission, I really want to get the um, the other flower pot because it allows you to grow trees. And I have apple seeds. And apparently the fruit just keeps coming until I chop the wood the uh, tree down for wood, which I won't do. So. That'll be pretty nice to have just a constant flow of apples, which is just a constant supply of food. All right, here we go. Who's in here? Well, it is night. What now? What the? Another hobo sign appeared out of nowhere. It says, 
I went this way. Those glowing arrows will lead us to the escaped experiment's hideout. No time to lose. If they only appear at night, they'll probably disappear at the first sign of daylight. Oh, I see. So it's not that they're magic. It's just that it happened to uh, only show up now that it's nighttime. Now, hold on, because that's going to get annoying. Because it said to show up. Another sign. We're on the right track. So it said to show up between 10 and 2. Um, I was worried that at 2 a.m. it was going to go away. But it didn't, so that's cool. We're on the right path. I like how I, like how I can run faster than these cars travel. <laughs> Another sign. Yeah, I know, dude. Wait, why, why aren't I riding you? It'd be much faster if I did. I think we're almost there. Oh, here. I actually ran through here while I was doing my things. Nothing was in here. Hmm. Hello? Yes, oh. the safe house is here. Ah. Oh. Password? Uh, wait, what? Wrong. Uh, 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 huh? Um, wrong again. I'll give you one more chance. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, you're a victim of Evil Way experiments, aren't you? Father said you might come. Come in, brother. I don't think I want to now. Oh my lord. Surprised? We are rats. We are radical. We are radioactive. We <laughs> are rats. Got it memorized? Good, because it is also our password. Use it next time. Come, father is waiting for you. This game is like a fucking fever dream. Is this supposed to be Master Splinter? Ah, uh, yes. I was expecting you. Oh, oh, I totally told them that already. As well as the part about radioactivity and our gnarly name. Like the one I came up with. Trixie, stop spazzing. Go guard the door. <laughs> stop spazzing. I'm just excited to finally see the outside world again. Wait. You're the legendary hobos and rejects who disappeared without a trace in the 80s. Yes, and now we're back. And we want our revenge. I see that you were able to follow my glowing piss trail. Remarkable. You might be the one we need. Oh my gosh. You can walk in the streets in broad daylight with hardly anyone noticing you. Perfect agent against our common enemy. The evil way. With your pigeons and my children, we will take back what is ours. However, word on the street is that you lost your legendary status. I need to be certain that you can handle even the grotiest scenario. Prove to us that you are bad to the bone. We can continue then. Trixie will escort you to the door. I told you I'd be back. <laughs> okay, cool, Trixie. I have to conquer two bug bases to unlock this mission. Okay. Lost your legendary status? I bet those filthy bugs are responsible for such rumors. Let's take over some of their pathetic lairs. That should show everyone who's the boss around here. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, funny enough, I already did one in the previous episode. You guys got to see that. So we're gonna just find another one, I guess, and kill it. Um, hmm, bum base. I don't know that they're actually marked on the map. See, because I found two of them. So maybe I'll just have to look up the locations instead of just running around trying to find them. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh. Oh shit, this one right above me is actually a base. Okay. That's cool. Oh yeah, 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 I see that. All right, sick, we don't have to go far at all. Because I already did the other base, which is on the rooftop. Yeah, get fucked. Come on, bring it on! Oh yeah, big guy. Oops, I missed. Oh! Right in the dick. Oh, I missed. Oh shit, what a throw! <laughs> what? what? Carl? I didn't know he could do that! What the fuck? 
how does this game keep amazing me? Like, like how do, how is it that I'm three episodes in now and things still happen in this game that just surprise the hell out of me? I don't get it. I don't understand it. Whoa, my God, big guys. Oh, shit. What is the point of taking a passenger on Carl, by the way? Oh, shit. Level 10. Yeah, baby. Oh. Oh. Right in his arm. Right in your stupid arm. Oh, shit. Right between that guy's arm. Oh. <laughs> Why are you stronger than this guy? That's right, Carl. All right, and actually, I haven't seen... I, I think I mentioned it at the beginning of this episode that the the second episode that I recorded isn't even out yet, so I have not even been able to see if you guys want me to build at these new bases. I mean, I don't really care to. I kind of like the original base, the OG, if you will. But let me know. Let me know, or, or I guess I'll see once somebody leaves a comment in, on the second video, but leave a comment on this one too, because why not? All right, back to these guys i mean rats i guess i don't know hey i did it chill i'm just pulling your leg come on in bro <laughs> thanks trixie let me tell you about my master plan evil way is used an infer oops sorry sorry children discovered that it is currently hidden in the basement under their headquarters if we want to bring everything back to normal, we'll need to get our paws on it. In order to do so, we need three things. First, we need a way to access the Evil Way HQ. Oh, Second, Jesus. We need a way to get any security and personnel away from the machine so we can snatch it. Lastly, the machine itself is huge and heavy. So we need a way to transport it to our base. Luckily, I found a solution to the first problem. There is a certain police officer who agreed to get us inside if we can help her out first. We can't do this alone, though. We need a daywalker for this. That means you. Okay. Please, take care of it while I plan our next step. Trixie, escort your new brother out and tell him where to go next. Come on, big boy. I'll mark where to find the Lady Popo on your map. Don't call me that. I don't like it. And I also don't like the way you look at me. Who the fuck are you, by the way? You're just not gonna... We're not gonna introduce this guy over here? Or this guy? God. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Look at that. I am gonna steal this idea. And make myself a double layer home. I love that, actually. <laughs> so aesthetically pleasing. Okay. I thought you were supposed to escort me out, Trixie. Weirdo. Alright, Lady Justice. Now we have to go meet the officer. Got it. Let's go do that. Come on, Carl. Let me get this straight. Not only are we working with rats now, but we're also yeah, going like to that. help out a pig. Damn, pal. Take that, I never you know. thought our animal friendship would extend <laughs> beyond yeah, pigeons. Like Guess I was wrong. And what now. animal will we do next? Maybe something yeah. normal for a change. <laughs> like a cat or a dog. Or a nah, you wish, Carl. Or a corn dog. Or even oh, a good old started. regular hot dog. <laughs> Sorry, I just wish I could taste food again. I'm ready to. Wow, I'll make sure every creep knows what you did for me. All right, that's cool. Yeah, Carl wouldn't shut up about food there, so I couldn't talk while I kicked their asses. Shut up about food, Carl. I don't care that you can't taste anymore. It's not my problem, man. Sorry, not sorry. Hey, lady cop. A little mouse told me that you could help me, so I can help the little mouse in return. There are some nasty boys out there, really nasty ones. They think the police can't touch them, but I can, and I will. I will touch them, and I will punish them. With your help, of course. <laughs> no, not evil way. They're not the only big rotten banana in the bunch. One good-looking politician is taking bribes in exchange for illegal construction permits. He demolished an animal shelter and has now overseen the construction of a casino in its place. He has friends in a police department. I'd lose my job if I approached him directly. However, if you bring him here, well, let's just say Officer Alex will show him how a helpless doggy feels.
Okay. Uh, why don't your lips move when you talk? <laughs> okay. Well, All right. That was a fine lady. The construction um, site she mentioned is just around the corner. Let's do it fast. I already feel okay. sick helping out a police officer. And as you probably noticed, I have no means of throwing up. Well, then how do you feel sick if you don't even have a way to throw up? Take him out, boys, or I'll cancel all of your visas. <laughs> okay, pal. I'll wait for you down here. Go and take care of that asshole. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, feel the power. Whoa, are you throwing bricks at me? Uh, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to go up, I guess. <laughs> Why am I yawning right now? Yeah, taste foot. Well, that guy just fucking straight up did an Undertaker. Get back here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! Jesus, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Oh! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> Let me out! Not cool, guys. That was a gang bang and a half. I am not up for that right now, all right? Jeez, you gotta at least buy me dinner first. That guy's just like, you know what? <laughs> Get him. All right, Jesus, that was actually fucking terrifying. Oh. Oh! Oh, they're really good at cornering me. Oh. I say as they corner me! Oh, thank goodness that doesn't hurt me. Why is he on the ledge? Okay, let's take him to Officer Alex, I guess. Yay. It doesn't. Oh shit, it does say that the police. Oh! Sorry, I was really quiet for that whole sequence, but it's because I just had to turn my sweat on, I guess. Oh, that was incidental, but doesn't seem like it negatively affected me, so that's great. Let's go to Officer Alex with this guy who's going to get treated like a helpless dog. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one fighting the good fight. If punishing criminals excites you as much as it excites me, then come pay me a visit sometime. I might have something fun to do for both of us. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to leave that episode here. So if you're enjoying Bum Sim and you want to see more, make sure you're liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. So you won't miss a single one. Turn that little bell icon on and then it'll tell you as soon as it does. Carl, shut up. Oh, I'm doing my outro. Also, if you want to get notified, but you don't care to turn the bell on on YouTube, join my Discord server. The link is in the description below. I post about them every single time a video goes live with a link. So if you're in the Discord, you get notified by that too. Anyways, I've been Essie. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.